So how does that look to you? Does that look a little out of focus? Because I hate it when we get like things, when we look through glass and it's out of focus, maybe it has a chip or a crack like in a windshield of your car. It just drives me nuts. Well, today we're going to be talking about seeing the world in focus. So this is Paul Luna. I'm live on Facebook right now. It's Wednesday. And so today is where we're going to talk about the Bible thought of today. Now, when I was in my 20s, I got my very first pair of glasses. And let me tell you, when I first got them, I was super excited because I walked out and I looked up at the trees and I could see the details of all these leaves. I just thought trees were just these big green globs. And yet I could see every uh, individual leaf and it was very distinct, uh, the designs on each leaf. And I was just like, this is amazing. So I was really excited when I had my first pair of glasses. And now I'm only on my second pair of glasses and my first pair got scratched up and I was a little bit annoyed by it. So I got a second pair of glasses and I was really excited up until about one year ago. I was in my yard, uh, actually in my driveway, and I bent over. My glasses were a little loose and what do you think happened? They fell down and now I have little chips in my glass. And it drives me nuts because everywhere I look, I see these little distortions. Nothing is exactly the way it truly is because I'm looking through distorted glass. That's kind of like our life. Oftentimes we are looking at the world through distorted glass. That nothing is completely clear. Everything is a little bit off. I found out that when I drive and I have a cracked windshield in my car, it drives me nuts because everything looks wrong. What about you? Do you you ever find that it drives you crazy when you have a a cracked, cracked windshield? Can't even talk today. Well, what causes cracked windshields in our lives? What causes us to have a distorted view in our own life? I ought to find that pain and trouble. Pain and trouble change the way we see our world around us. It's like looking through distorted glass. Our, our problems seem to be bigger. Uh, everything looks worse. And so we have a hard time with that. And, and we, we're frustrated and we're upset. And that's not really necessarily how reality is. Oftentimes, the things aren't as bad as we think they are but the distorted view we have makes it look so. So God says, here's what I want you to do. I want to bring clarity to your life. I want you to stay focused on me because I want to bring your world into focus. And he does that by doing this. He says, you keep your eyes on me, focus here, and I'm going to show you that everything's going to be okay. I'm going to provide you with hope and I'm going to provide you with comfort. It's like when we're teaching our kids how to swim. What do we tell them to do? Like when they're at the edge of the pool, Our kids are sitting at the edge of the pool, we're in the pool, and what do we tell them? We're like, jump. Jump to me and I will catch you. My arms are out. I will rescue you. I will hold you. You don't need to worry. And that's what God is telling us, that we need to keep our focus on Him and that He will catch us and He will hold us regardless of the pain or the struggles that we're facing. He brings the world into clarity. Here's what I'm going to go and look at. We're going to look at Psalm 141, verse 8. But my eyes are fixed on you, O Sovereign Lord. In you I take refuge. Do not give me over to death. But here's the, most, here's the big thing. But my eyes are fixed on you, O Sovereign Lord. In your struggles and in your trouble, are your eyes focused on the Lord? Because when your eyes are focused on the Lord, He provides you with comfort, He provides you with peace, and He gives you a hope. So that's my encouragement to you. My encouragement is this. I ask you to think about what's going on that's big in your life. What struggles or pain are you facing that you need to say, okay, God, I'm going to put my eyes on you because I know you can see the entire world around me. While I cannot see everything that's going on, you understand everything that's happening. And I'm going to trust you because I know you're going to provide me with hope and you're going to comfort me. So that's it for today. I hope that Bible thought kind of resonates with you. Uh, Make sure that you keep your eyes focused on him because he will help you focus on the world correctly. Thanks a lot. I'll see you guys again later. Bye.